some more advanced topics on demand, one of which is why is demand downward sloping? Now, first off, to look at these three items, we have to make sure we remember what Cheddar's Paribus means, meaning all other things equal. We can't look at everything all at once, so as an economist, we only take a look at one change at a time. So the first reason why demand is downward sloping is the income effect. As the price of a good increases, people have to spend a relatively greater amount of money, more of their income, and therefore tend to purchase less. So at higher prices, people demand less. When the price of the good decreases, just the opposite happens, and you have to spend relatively less uh, amount of money, and therefore tend to purchase more and consume more, demand more. The second reason is the substitute effect. As the price increases for good A, good B, which is a substitute good for good A, becomes more attractive and people tend to buy more of good B. So the, the same thing happens when price is high, quantity is low for demand. And then the third reason, diminishing marginal utility. If you break that word down, diminishing means getting less, marginal means change, and utility means usefulness. So one gains less utility after consuming one additional unit of the good. So let's say, for example, to illustrate number three, you know, you're really hungry. You go into a pizza shop. You decide, you know what, I'm going to have one slice of pizza because I'm really hungry. You finish the first slice and you realize you're still hungry. So you get a second slice. You're still hungry, so you get a third. You eventually gain less utility as you start to fill up. And eventually you hit a point, maybe it's 9, 10, or 20 slices of pizza, where eventually you're going to have diminishing marginal utility where each additional slice, each marginal unit, has less usefulness than the last unit. So eventually, you eat so much pizza, you become full, that if you had another pizza, you stop spending money on it because you have less utility in the slice of pizza because you're full versus how much it's going to cost. The second advanced topic is called utility maximizing. Uh, rational consumers always work to maximize the utility they derive from consuming goods. Therefore, we can predict what goods will be consumed by a consumer using this idea. We use the equation to calculate the value of marginal utility per dollar using the following equation. MU stands for marginal utility of product A divided by the price of product A is equal to the marginal utility of product B divided by the price of B. Once you figure out an answer for, let's say, MU of A divided by the price of A, the larger the number, the more utilities per dollar you receive. So you want the most utility per dollar for each item that you consume. So if we take a look at this chart, let's say you have $10 to spend and you want to maximize your utility. You can buy one of two products or a combination of the two products, pizza or breadsticks. And you're looking for each additional unit to maximize your utility until you've spent $10. So let's say pizza costs $2 and breadstick costs $1. That's going to be the, the denominator in each equation. The first thing we're going to want to do is calculate the marginal utility per dollar of both pizzas and breadsticks. So let's start with the pizza column. Each slice of pizza costs $2. So to find the marginal utility would be 10 divided by the two dollars, which would be five util utils per dollar. So we'll just leave it as five. Eight divided by two dollars gives you four. The third unit, six divided by two, gives you three. And then five divided by two equals 2.5. So again, that's utils per dollar or usefulness per dollar. On the other side, breadsticks only cost you a dollar, so it would be 10 divided by 1 gives you 10, 8 divided by 1 gives you 8, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 1 divided by 1 is 1. So now you have to go item by item. What are you going to purchase first? Which has the most utility per dollar? That would be the breadsticks. So the first thing you would purchase is a breadstick. You've now spent one dollar. The next unit that's the biggest would be the 8 on the breadstick side because it's still larger than the 5 utils per dollar of the first unit of pizza. So you spend one more dollar buying a second unit of breadsticks. Now, since the next breadstick would only give you 2 utils per dollar and the first unit of pizza would give you 5, you'd purchase the first unit of pizza which costs $2 so now you're at $4. 
Next, again looking at the largest, the second unit of pizza cost you two more dollars, so you're at six dollars spent. The next largest unit, again looking at kind of the next unit of pizza, the next unit of breadsticks, still at two utils per dollar. You'd have the third unit of pizza, which again cost two dollars, so you're at eight. And then finally you'd you'd consume the fourth unit of pizza also, and that gives you to ten dollars. You've spent all your money, you've maximized your utility. So the answer to this question would be you would consume or purchase or demand four units of pizza and two units of breadsticks. And you've maximized your utilities per dollar or used utility maximization.